and welcome to your tropical weather bulletin for May the 26th, 2013. It's six days until the start of the Atlantic hurricane season, the East Pacific hurricane season already in effect. And at the moment, we have three invests um, out in the world at the moment. Invest 91E in the Eastern Pacific, Invest 90C near Hawaii, and Invest 96P down in the Pacific near the Solomon Islands, or Vanuatu actually, isn't it? Um, and looking at the uh, satellite imagery, as you can see, um, there's all three of them over the Pacific Ocean at the moment. 96P down in the South Pacific, where the season is virtually off limits at this time of year, heading into the winter down there. Uh, but 90C and 91E currently going um, out in the Northern Hemisphere. Looking over towards the Atlantic, not much going on here at the moment yet. Um, as you can see, fairly quiet, uh, more, much more sky than there is cloud, as you can see here. Um, even down in the tropical region, it's looking fairly quiet at the moment, but I'm sure that'll be changing sometime soon. And finally, the Indian Ocean, where we had 93A dissipating over Arabia not too long ago. Uh, not much going on here since then, but you, as you can see, a bit of weather going on over in the Bay of Bengal, but nothing developing yet. Looking at the sea surface temperatures, you can see here very warm temperatures, 28 degrees or above. Um, over many parts of the eastern Pacific and the Atlantic, 28 degrees or above in the tropical regions for these areas. And um, you can see more warmer waters towards um, the northern Bay of Bengal, um, the northern Sea of Arabia as well, warm waters here in those gulfs. Um, but let's look at Invest 91E, which is currently still going. It's not likely to develop, or at least not um, as a decent storm, a strong storm, but this is the best track forecaster we can cook up at the moment according to the uh, latest model consensus. Um, the wind speed at the moment is 25 miles per hour with a pressure of 1,009 millibars, virtually unchanged um, in the past few days. Here's the satellite imagery of the Invest, and um, as you can see here, not too much in the way of development going on at the moment, but who knows, that may change. Not very likely at the moment, 10% chance given by the National Hurricane Center for Tropical Cyclone Development over the next 48 hours. Here's the current situation with Invest 90C, which was uh, designated today. The current centre point of this storm is somewhere near the big island of Hawaii, but as you can see, not too much going on in the way of cloud cover at the moment um, from all angles. You can see some dry air infiltrating through from the north as well, which will certainly not help any matters there. And you can see Invest 96P here, um, looking a little bit interesting, especially for the time of year um, down in the South Pacific. It's coming off limits now, coming into um, the end of May, into June. Um, but having said that, there was a storm that formed in June last year in that very same region, so you never know, that one might um, pull up a bit of a surprise. Looking at the current model forecast then, uh, highlighted in the blue circle is the bit we're looking at at the moment because the Atlantic seems to be quiet for the next five days or so. Um, and as you can see, the CMC there hinting at a landfall, a tropical storm making landfall in Mexico in about four or five days time. The ECMWF being a little bit less forthcoming, perhaps um, hinting at a little bit of a system um, paralleling the coast of um, the east of Mexico. The GFS has two storms affecting the Mexican coast over the next five days. Um, again, not terribly strong storms, but uh, may still produce uh, quite uh, a bit of rain for the region. Uh, the NAVGEM by the US Navy also predicting something similar of that description, possibly in the system behind Invest 91E, as is the case with many of the other systems at the moment, the other um, model runs. GFDL, this is for 91E, actually predicting it to develop and move towards the Mexican coast, um, curving back towards the northeast at the end of the forecast period. The HWRF predicting a very weak system uh, moving through there, perhaps intensifying towards the end and uh, it shows another system there developing behind Invest 91E at the end there. So that all looks rather interesting. Looking at the overall predictor season scores for May the 26th, now don't forget it's still very early on in the season um, for any predictions to be coming to fruition, so a lot of these people probably predicted a lot of zeros in their prediction for some reason or other. But as you can see, Ken leading the way with 113 points. Tycoon Bopa with 106 as well as Theo in second and third place there. Uh, you can submit your storm totals at force13.com forward slash interactive. Just click the predictor season 2013 button. So now let's look what happened on this day on May the 26th. A few little facts that I digged out from the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific. 1977, tropical storm Ava formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 1983, Adolf made landfall near Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and again near Mazatlan, two landfalls there. 2012, of course, subtropical storm Bell formed in the Atlantic and tropical storm Bud dissipated in the Eastern Pacific on this day last year. 
And don't forget you can track any storm that forms at the Force 13 website. Force13.com forward slash storm tracking will take you right to the storm tracking pages. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, facebook.com forward slash Force 13 and also Twitter by the same extension, Force 13. Just search them in the search box, I'm sure you'll find them fairly easily. Aside from that, there are YouTube videos almost every day, so make sure you subscribe to keep in the loop.